So in this tutorial, we're just going to take a quick look at the volume effector and we're going to create this kind of cool text voxel effect. So I'm just going to start by creating a cube <clears throat> and I'm just going to make the x, y, z values uh, 20. So just get rid of one zero. Oops. So I've got one cube. I'm going to select the cube, hold down Alt, and uh, choose a cloner. Automatically makes the cube a child of the cloner. And I'm going to set the cloner to a grid array. And just reduce the Y count down to 1. And give it um, 32 by 32. I want quite a lot of uh, cubes. Maybe 40 by 40, actually. And I need to separate these out, so should be about 800, like that. Um, might just add 802, it's a bit more space. Okay. So I've got this kind of nice uh, sheet of cubes. Now I'm going to select the cloner and add a volume effector. So the volume effector basically needs an object, an editable object. So I'm going to create that and I'm going to create some mo text. And I'm just going to rotate it to face up. So hold down shift and it snaps to a 10 degree increments. I'm just going to move this up. I'm going to write a quick VFX get the advertising in there and I'm gonna choose a kind of thick font so um, Soho Gothic's quite chunky so I'm gonna choose that I'm just gonna increase the depth and it's quite big I'm just gonna reduce the size just slightly it's okay if it kind of comes off slightly so about there now I'm gonna create a connect object put the mo text into my connect object and on connect uncheck weld and because that messes up the vertexes and with connect uh, selected I'm gonna go and make editable so now I've got a nice polygon object collapsed just gonna delete all these uh, selection tags and I'm gonna go to my volume effector and where it says volume object I'm just gonna drag and drop this new uh, connect object I created and I'm just going to click on my connect object and go to tags display so I can change the kind of rendering of it in the viewport I'm going to check use go to shading mode uh, lines and style box so I can see right through it now on my volume effector I'm going to uncheck scale and check position and increase the Y count and now you can see the kind of letters rising up and I think that's barely readable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the volume effector again, go to color mode and choose user defined. And I'm going to choose like a bluish color maybe. And everything's blue. So all you have to do is just check use alpha strength. And now only our uh, kind of text object, text cubes are a uh, blue. Um, I'm just gonna hide uh, the connect object in rendering so just double click the bottom uh, circle till it's a red dot and now we can see so um, <clears throat> I think I might just increase my connect object till I can get a separation between the I and the C So that's kind of almost readable. You can add uh, more uh, cloners if you want. Uh, you can make that 80, 100. The more you add, the more detail it's going to get. So shall I risk it? I might just add uh, 80 clones. Um, that should make the spacing 1610. It's getting dicey. Uh, might crash. 
just going to increase the connect object. So now we can definitely read it pretty clearly. It's probably going to render quite slow, but uh, it's not too bad. Okay. So the coolness uh, doesn't end there. I'm just going to go to my cloner and add a random effector. And I'm not going to use a position scale rotation. I'm just going to uncheck position. I'm going to use a weight transform to give like each uh, cube a different weight. So I'm just going to go back to my cloner, click on effectors, and make sure the randoms before the volume effector. And now we can see it kind of randomly scattered, which gives us a kind of cool pixelated effect. And if you want to reduce that, just go to a random and just reduce the strength. So you can see it kind of uh, the strength going from 0 to 100 there. So I'm just going to add a bit, 49. And I'm just going to animate this kind of running through my uh, grid. So I'm going to place a keyframe maybe around here on my connect object. So control click keyframe there. Uh, I'm just going to make my animation 200 frames. Go to the 200th frame and uh, maybe just put a keyframe here. I'm going to right click animation show F curve. I'm just going to make that linear so it's not kind of easing in and out. So I'm just going to click here. Nice straight curve. And I'm just going to play my animation. Hopefully it should run. Yep. We can see that. So we've got this cool voxel uh, text effect going on. And the finishing touches, uh, click on the cloner and add a delay effector. And strength is 50. I'm just going to increase that slightly and play the animation again. What that does is it kind of uh, smooths out the tweens. Now we can see the kind of cubes around it kind of um, rising up as well. And uh, you can also set that to spring before you get you can get some crazy effects with the delay effector. So that's spring. Might just uh, reduce the strength. blend was maybe better. Blend's kind of a lot smoother. Yeah, so there you go. 